Deep Dive Gaming. Hello, people, and welcome back to Deep Dive Gaming. I am the Mariner, and this is Sim Settlements 2 for Science. We are continuing our experiment with organic settlement growth and blending Fallout 4 main questline with Sim Settlements 2 main questline. Last episode, we laid out our entire settlement in Edgar Tours Marina, getting it ready to be a training settlement. We turned on auto assignment under local settings at the city planner's desk, allowing settlers to be assigned to plots as they arrive. We haven't gone recruiting like in previous videos, instead choosing to allow the recruitment begin to do the work. In this episode, we're going to turn eastward, continuing our course to reach the castle. We're going to take over Jamaica Plain and see if I've learned anything about building in a small space. First, we need to head to Jamaica Plains and clear out the ghouls before we actually are allowed access to the workbench. Once that's accomplished, we can head to Sanctuary and build our creation kits as usual. And I'm going to bring along that pile of boxes of ASAMs that we collected in the hardware store, I believe the last episode. Then we just return to Jamaica Plains and start building. We're going to move into the settlement area and then use our Clean My Settlement mod. And then I'm going to follow that up with Raise My Settlement mod. And then we will check on the workbench, make sure that it is configured properly. And then we have these bodies around that we need to take care of. We'll go back to raise my settlement and choose remove corpses. Bye bye ghoulies. Our next step is to put up a radio beacon and generator. I'm going to put those up here on this nice flat balcony roof, get it connected up. And while we wait for our first settler or settlers to arrive, I'm going to get our caravan plot set up. I'm just going to put it right here in this open area between the building and the stairs. This particular spot is difficult because we've got the pavement level and the sidewalk level and then also the barrier wall that we're trying to get the ASAM lined up with. And then we assign the uh, ILS logistics station. Now that we've got that in place, let's get some storage containers. Not those, those are too big. Fit some nicely on this shelf here, since I can't really use the space for anything else. There it goes. Three is sufficient for now. And then we'll come in here and we will use our caravan construction kit so that when we can build, we have materials. Now, it looks like our settler has arrived. Where is she? Hmm. Let's turn on the Vitamatic tracking. We'll try homeless. That should help. That way, once we've assigned her to work, we can still find her to assign her to a house. And there she is over in the distance. So I guess while we wait for her to make her way over here, I'm going to set up a uh, small plot in here for residentials. And I think I'm going to use the one by one instead of an indoor plot. This may not be the 
best option, but at least it allows us to have more than one settler right now, right off the bat, and then we can build more later. We'll do Military Cots Trio. That seems like the best choice. And we've got enough building materials that it should be buildable once our caravan network gets connected, that is. And our settler is not coming any closer, so we're just going to have to bring her to us. There she is. Okay, let's get her assigned to the caravan plot. There we go. I'm new around here. I wanted to introduce myself. I heard your radio beacon, so I figured, why not? I just wanted you to know that I'm ready to do whatever it takes to make this into a real home. So, let me know if you have anything you need me to do. Yeah, let me show you. Go ahead. You don't listen very well. I just assigned you here. Yeah, that's why I figured they're already the occupant of this plot. That's fine. Now it can build. And, oh yeah, we need to get her... Where'd she go? There she is. We need to get her assigned to the residential plot. Uh-oh. She might be too far out of the range. Oh, let's try and get in back in in time. Nope. Mm. Okay, well, fortunately we have the town gavel. Okay, now we can assign her to the residential plot. And we know this because the caravan plot's not built yet. It's not connected to the caravan network. Let's move on ahead to when that happens. There, now that it's constructed, we can see it's a little into the ground right now, so we can move it up slightly. We're not going to be able to do anything about the file cabinet. This unlevel ground is not cooperating very well, but it looks okay for the most part. And we're waiting for the caravan network to connect up. Good, I don't have to go away and then come back. It's all set. So now we can build the rest of the place. And I'm going to start upstairs here. I'm going to expand out this floor with some wood flooring and get started on more residential plots. And because I use snappable floors, I can also use snappable walls. So let's enclose this place. Make sure the floor is even here. Looks like it can go in a little bit and then also it's crooked. There we go, that looks good. Wall blends here nicely. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some roofing on this place. We'll use the flattest we can find so that we can put floors up above because we're going to do multi-layering here. And let's get our residential plots going. We're going to do more one by ones. And I'm only going to do four because to add two more would fill this place up and I wouldn't be able to really move around all that much. And Future Mariner here piping in to mention that I realized I forgot to assign these ASAMs building plans. So we'll probably have to come back here and fix something at some point. But back to Past Mariner. So I can actually fit one more in this spot beside the wall opening. And then we'll put a wall behind it uh, for a little bit of protection. So that's a total of five up here. Okay, now let's get some stairs up to the next level so that we can uh, set up the third floor, I guess is what you call it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some flooring. I'm going to try and get this to line up with the ceiling panels. I can't do what I did previously to adjust them if they're off, so hopefully they fit. And then we'll grab the stairs and snap it onto the floor pane. That looks okay. I won't really be able to tell until I get down to the bottom floor, but meh. The next step, I'm going to build walls, but I'm not going to put a ceiling here because I think this is going to be where my farms are for food. This is just going to be a generic multi-purpose sort of settlement. We're not going to do anything too crazy here. Although I am thinking about either industry or commerce. 
Let's get the indoor plot farms. Too bad these uh, SM HUDs are interfering. I can barely see what I'm trying to do here now. I think that's all we can do up here so let's head back down and we've got all this area back here to play with so I think it's where we're gonna have our recreation and our municipal plots so to make this a bit easier on myself I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some concrete foundations we'll go all the way up to where the street rises over here so we've got this nice staircase here, so I don't want to block it. So I'm going to go sideways with these municipal plots. We'll do one as water, the other as power. And then for these two spots over here, uh, I can't think of another municipal plot I want. So let's come over to recreation and we'll set up a couple of recreation plots. And then on this side, I'm going to do some security. A Marshall plot because that's a point of entrance into the settlement. We've got this open area here. Let's we'll see what I can make happen in the space industry wise. We haven't done an industry settlement in a while. Not that we actually need to, given the numbers I'm seeing there on the right. Hmm. If I put this here, it's gonna fill the space and block the entrance. We don't want to block those stairs if we can help it. So let's try an indoor plot. Can we snap it to that? Let's see. Oh, hey, we can. Cool. There's the ACM sensor. Okay. So that's this side. Let's try it on this side. Oh, shoot. We got a lot of space back here. Um, And it's crooked. So I guess what we'll do, just add some more small storage containers back on this side to fill the space. Give us a little bit of extra storage in this area. We'll do two layered boxes. Oh, I just noticed this. We have an ASAM hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Let's get ourselves a wall. Give that a thing to be attached to. Oh, that's... shoot. Can I... Yeah, I'm using Place Anywhere, so I should be able to get these to overlap. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and assign it building materials. Can never have enough basic building materials. See the rest of the series as an example. And then we'll have the indoor plot over here be organics. I just realized I forgot to have this residential plot build, so I'm going to come over here and do this really quick. And see, we got enough to build that. Alright, back to what we were doing. Tanuvia Field Hospital, that sounds good actually, we'll keep this option. And then I'm just now noticing the ASAM is in the ground. And the concrete is too. Let's see if we can... There we go. That's nice. Now, this plot. Let's see what we got. So I noticed this while I was setting up the other one. We actually have... Some new plots from Pra, including an ASAM factory. This will come in handy if we ever run out of ASAM sensors. Lumber yard. Jerry rigged summa which consumes steel and generates wood for the settlement. Ooh, I like the sound of that. If you watched early episodes of this series, you know we ran into a wood problem very quickly. 
At that time, I lamented not having this lumber yard available. We also have e-waste burner, brewery. Then we got coal pits, coal for fertilizer, nah. Distillery, furniture workshop, hazmat recycling, lumber yard, soap factory, frag grenades, mines for weapon stores. Oh, okay. Let's just do another lumber yard. That sounds good. Extra wood. Hopefully we have the concrete to contribute to making the wood. It's a good thing we built another building materials plot after all. Alright, so let's round this out before we finish up the episode. We need to get a couple more martial plots going here. I'm going to do one by one at this entrance to the settlement. Let's come over to another entrance to the settlement. Put another one by one down. I think we'll just do a couple of checkpoints by King Gath. And what's the big one? I forgot about the big one. Let's see. We can't do advanced defenses as much as I want to. So we'll come down here to wall corner. If we build a wall, it'll block off the help protect this side. The way it's going to be built is the wall is going to be facing inward. So we're going to need to rotate this plot 90 degrees. So let's get these assigned really quick. I'm going to do a water plot on this one. And then we'll do a power plot on the other. And then for recreation, let's see, what do we want to have? We want recreation. We're not going to do training. Wasteland, gym, relaxation. I like that one. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll assign this one to recreation as well. Let's see, we did a gym already. I don't really feel like Central Park here. Let's see, what do we what else do we have? Bean Bookery or Carla's? Yeah, let's do Carla's. I haven't built that one in a while, if ever, in this playthrough. I think it'll fit right in. Boom, okay. I wonder what we could use this space for. We've also got some space left over here that we could play with. So if you have any ideas, leave me a note in the comments. and Maybe we'll come back and flesh this one out. But that's it for Jamaica Plain. And we're right near where we need to be. So the next stop looks like it's going to be the castle. And then after that, we can actually start forwarding the Fallout 4 and Sim Settlements 2 stories. But that's it for this episode. We've got to make a plane built. And the next episode will be taking the castle and starting construction there. I also have a For Science special episode in mind and started it before I recorded this episode. Doing prep work and then testing conditions is taking longer than expected. So I figured I would do this episode for y'all while I work on that. Until next time, go check out my now completed Let's Play tutorial series here on YouTube. Also come say hi on my Twitch channel, Monday through Wednesday, 7.30 Eastern Time for more of this, Sim Settlements 2, Thursday nights at 7.30 Eastern Time for Mass Effect Legendary Edition with one of my moderators guiding me through the game. And also, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you see when new videos are released or announcements come from me. But for now, enjoy the science. Bye bye